Hello viewers, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are enjoying all the problems that I am uploading. If you haven't subscribed yet, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel and share among your friends. So today's problem is the kth lexicographical string of all happy strings of length m. A happy string is a string that consists only of letters set a, b, c. That's one condition. So the string has only three letters, three kinds of letters, a, b, and c. And the second constraint is s of i not equal to s of i plus one for all values of i from one to s dot length minus one string is one index, right? So basically, if the string is one index, then adjacent characters should not be same. That's what it meant. For example, the strings a, b, c, a, c, b, a, b, c, b, that strings are all happy strings. But a, a, b, a, 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 b, a, b, b, c are not happy strings because they have at least one adjacent characters in each of those strings as same, right? A, a, so two are same, look, it's not a happy string. B, a, 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 a is again same, it's not a happy string, so like that. So that is the definition of the happy string. And then the question is, uh, given two integers n and k, consider the list of all happy strings of length n sorted in lexico lexicographical order. Return the kth string of this list or return an empty string if there are less than k happy strings of length n. So that's the thing. So basically we will need to, con we'll need to have the happy strings of length n. So for a given length, there could be several happy strings and of all those several happy strings, we need to sort them in the lexicographical order. And once we sort that, whatever the, uh, whatever the set that we get in that, we need to get the kth happy string, right? So let's go ahead and look at an example. So out of all the examples here, uh, I think the example three makes better sense for us to go. So n is equal to three. That means the string length is three and k is ninth. So of the string, string length three, there are several strings possible. Uh, there are 12 strings possible in fact. So out of the 12 strings, we have to give the ninth string, right? So that is what is the question that is being asked. So of the length three, let's go ahead and look at what are the happy strings, right? So in the explanation, it is given that A, B, A, A, B, C, A, C, A. So these are all the happy strings of length three, okay? So, and out of this, the, the ninth string is C, A, B. So that is what we are going to return. So basically, we need to have a list of all the happy strings and then we will be uh, able to get the kth string of the all the happy string and n could be anywhere from 1 to 10 so that's what it is said n could be anywhere from 1 to 10 and k could be anywhere from 1 to 100 right so that is what it is so uh, the algorithm that i have here is it is uh, it is a two step thing so one is uh, it is going to construct all the happy strings of length whatever that is given as n and once we have all the strings it's pretty easy to pick one from it right so the algorithm that we are going to see is it will construct the happy strings first and then get the kth out of it okay so that's the simple logic that we are going to use here so let me go ahead and show you the steps that we are going to do so we will build a string of for length l and use it to build the string strings for length l plus one so basically if we have a string of length l we use that string and build strings of length l plus one so essentially once we build all the strings right then we pick k minus one string from that because the uh, the list in c sharp is zero index that's why we are subtracting k uh, minus one from k. So we will pick the k minus one string, okay? So k is um, all the strings uh, in that are, all the strings in the given uh, length are one index, it, it was saying, but 
we will say our strings are here in this case right whatever the data structure that we are going to store it will be a zero based index that's why we are subtracting minus one from the k okay so uh, we will start with a seed the seed is uh, a b c as mentioned here right so now based on a b c by using this logic s of i should not be equal to s of i plus one we will construct length two so basically what we are going to do here is so we have we will take the first string a right so a and then uh, we will be using the same set again the length a b c right so as long as this condition is satisfied from this we are going to append so if we take a it will be it will be equal so we won't take a and append here so we'll take b and append so after append it will become a b right and for the same string after we append c it will become a c right so that is what is uh, output for a and now similarly we do b right so for b if we do that right so b we can append a right so obviously for b we cannot append b because b and b there's a miss uh, there's a match so we cannot do next b and c right and uh, let's go ahead and do it for c right so c we can append a that's one thing and uh, c b we can append right c c we cannot append right c c cannot be appended to c because s of i is equal to s of i plus one it will become right so we cannot append so now we have constructed uh, strings of length to a b a c b a b c c a c b right so these are six strings that we got so now we are going to use the length two to construct length three and so on whatever the length that we were asked that is n right so that is what we are going to construct once we have this list right it is easy to pick whatever the kth or k minus one string right from this list so that's that's what the logic that i am going to use in the code so one more thing is if k is greater than whatever the number of things possible right for example uh, if n is equal to 2 uh, and k is equal to 10 let's say if that is the input for n is equal to there are only six strings possible right n is equal to there are only six strings possible which are happy so that's the reason why we will say we cannot go to 10 k is equal to 10 is not possible in that case what we are going to return a empty string that is what for the definition right return an empty string so the, in this case we will return empty right that is a uh, that is one more constraint so here uh, all the work i am doing here is get lexicographical strings and then if the strings count is uh, k is less than the strings count right then we, you return all strings of k minus one otherwise read return empty string so that is what it is as long as the k is less than the count of the uh, lexicographical strings you return it otherwise return an empty string so let's go ahead and look at the logic that we are implementing so it follows this logic what we have done from uh, generating strings of length two from generating lengths of strings of length one right so it's similar exactly so the seed data so the start is a seed data for us we are going to add three strings in here right so a b and c and i'm storing all the a b c characters in a character array basically uh, because we are going to use this character array to append to the strings that we have in the start this is the seed data so we already have the strings of length one in start right so starting from two we are going to construct so that's why I'm, i have i is equal to two i is less than len i plus plus right so that's what i'm going to do and then here the next set of strings that we are going to construct right so for each string in the start what we are going to do is we, we loop through this character array and if it doesn't matches the last character that is added right if it doesn't matches the last character that is added we are going to add append that string and uh, add that string to the next set of uh, strings to be looked at so basically since we have constructed already for the strings of length one right so next we'll have the strings of length two so finally once this loop is done right we will be assigning the next to start again so in the next length we will be using the strings that we obtained in the next likewise we will be continuing right so this is how we are going to proceed to calculate the 
lexicographical happy strings once we have the lexicographical happy string right it's it's very easy to uh, return what is the kth string right so this is how we are going to solve uh, this problem hope it uh, is clear so there is uh, there are more methods for this in order to not construct uh, all the happy strings and but try to generate the kth uh, lexicographical string right so i will probably upload another video or another variation of the same problem right so in another video but this in this video what i'm covering is we try to generate all the strings and get the k minus one string out of it so i will probably create another video where we don't construct all these strings but still manage to generate the kth lexicographical string okay hope uh, it cleared up all the questions if you still have any questions please leave them in the comment section i will get back to you as soon as i can thank you for watching uh, just want to remind again if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please go ahead and subscribe and share among your friends also click the bell icon so that you get all the future video updates Thank you for watching. I'll be back with another problem from Read Code very soon. Till then, goodbye.